I'm going to be showing y'all how to optimize your websites for SEO. Specifically in this video, I'm going to be using a go high level website, but this will work with any type of website builder. The first step in SEO is going to be keyword research, which I like to do through a software called Search Atlas. This software is $99 a month, but it's absolutely worth it. It's got a lot of really cool features that'll help boost your SEO. It can do AI blogs, it can do keyword research, we can do site audits, we can do a local SEO heat map where it'll show us pinpoints of how we're ranking locally in our area through our Google business profile. A lot of really cool stuff here. One cool thing about it as well is that you can white label this software. So my go high level people will like this. You can take the search atlas software you can put your own logo on it and then you can create your own packages and plans with different features um, and you can resell the software just like we can do with go high level so that's pretty cool that's included on their 490 4.99 plan so it's like 500 dollars a month if you want to white label and resell but if you just want to use the software for yourself it's just 99 dollars a month and it's worth every penny so with keyword research, we just need to figure out which keywords we're going to include on our website so that we can start ranking for certain keywords. So the best place to start or the best way to start is going to be typing in your niche right here and then typing in your city that you're located in. Because if you're a local business, you'll just want to rank locally. You don't really need to rank for other states or other cities if you're just working in one location. And so I'm just going to type in plumbing Boise. Boise, Idaho, and we're going to search this keyword and it's going to show us a report that's pretty cool here. Um, as everything loads, we can see our keyword difficulty. It's out of 100. So three out of 100 is really easy to rank for. So plumbing Boise would be a very easy keyword to get to the top of Google with for our website. The average monthly searches, this this keyword gets about 2000 searches monthly um in the us which is great that's a pretty highly searched keyword um, the traffic potential basically means if you were number one on google if your website showed up at the very top of the first page you would get approximately 823 people clicking onto your website and then cost per click is 64 dollars. this is if you're running google ads so this is telling me this is a pretty high cost per click um, on average for home service businesses your cost per click is going to be closer to like ten dollars fifteen dollars twenty dollars but 64 this is telling me there's a lot of people a lot of plumbers in boise that are running google ads um, but basically google only charges you per click that you get onto your website but basically they're saying if you were to try to target this keyword with your Google ad, it would cost you $64 to get one person to click onto your site, which is pretty high. So it might not be the best for Google ads, but we're talking about organic SEO. So for us, it's actually really easy to rank for this keyword and we could beat out a lot of these people running ads just by ranking number one organically since it's a super easy keyword difficulty. If we go here, we can see our historical search volume over you know the past year. It's pretty consistent. Some seasons it's a little higher, like the summer um, and uh, in January for some reason. But yeah, and then down here is what we're looking for though. We can see our keyword variations and related keywords. So if we click on related keywords, this will give us a list of ideas of keywords that we can use for our website. And we want to go after keywords that have a keyword difficulty of 25 or less. So it looks like all of them that are related to plumbing and Boise are pretty easy keywords to rank for. I mean, zero, like these would be insanely easy to rank for. But you also want to look at the search volume as well. You know, if, if it's a keyword that doesn't get very many searches, like 10 per month, might not be worth it to include that keyword on our site. Um, but in some cases it might be worth it. So you just have to kind of gauge, you want to go for the keywords that have a high search volume and a low keyword difficulty. If you find a keyword like that in here that has a good search volume and low difficulty, like this one here, plumbers, Boise, Idaho, then this is a golden keyword that we're going to try to focus on, on our website and try to rank for. Um, the way that we rank for these keywords is we need to include these keywords on our site. So inside of go high level, we have our website here. I just have a basic plumbing template. We need to go in and make sure we include this keyword. So our keyword that we're going to rank for is plumbers, Boise, Idaho. Um, we're going to say expert plumbers, Boise, Idaho, we, or some variation of that, right? Something close to that. But we want to include that in our headline on our website or in the sub headline on our website. 
Um, Google reads those H1s, those heading ones first. And so if you're putting your keywords in your H1s or your H2s, that'll give us a better chance of Google reading that and um, ranking us for those keywords. And then also, um, not just on the actual website itself, but through the blogs that are on our website, we want to rank for those. And so that's a great way to just share information that maybe people don't know and share just really good blog content on our site that one attracts people because it's helpful. What We want to be helpful and give good information in our blogs. We don't just want to write, have like ChatGBT write our blogs because ChatGBT is basically just a bunch of regurgitated content from the internet. We want to write original blogs and uh, Search Atlas is a tool that actually can do this and do it well with its AI blog writing. It's way better than ChatGBT, um, but essentially we can go to content right here and we can create an article using AI. We can type in our article title. So our title might be plumbing in Boise, Idaho. That'd probably be a bad example of one, but you could also maybe answer questions. Another great way to do it is just to, by answering questions. So if we type in plumbing in our search bar here, it'll give us questions around the topic of plumbing that a lot of people are asking on Google. And those are great topics to write blogs about. So over here, we can see our questions. There's 2000 questions about the keyword plumbing. We'll open this up and we can see these different questions and how much search volume, how difficult they are to rank for. We're going for these green ones. So how to use plumbing tape. That'd be a great article to write a blog on. Some Something people are typing in frequently. Um, and so it'd be a good one that, that we could rank for. Um, any of these green ones are pretty relatively easy to rank for. The lower the number, the easier. What is plumbing? You know, that's pretty straightforward. What is air gap in plumbing? That might be an article we could write a blog on. But basically, we can go back out of our website builder and um, we can go to our blogs tab inside of the sites tab and go high level. So we're inside of sites, go up to blogs, and we can create our blog posts in here. I'm just gonna open up one I did another day. It was the keyword, how to use plumbing tape. That was one that showed up in here towards the top, how to use plumbing tape. I'm gonna open it up real quick. We'll just update it and I'll show you. This was actually written by Search Atlas. So I used their AI blog writing tool. I went in, went to content, typed in how to use plumbing tape, entered some keywords like plumbing tape, plumbing, um, tape, you know, just different keywords that are along the lines of plumbing tape. And then we created the article and it created this article for us right here, which I then took, pasted in to go high level into their blog and then saved it. And then I published it. So when you publish a blog in here, then you have to go to your site and add the blog widget. So inside of the website, I have a blogs page where I then added the blogs widget, which you can do. I'll show you real quick. So you can click the little plus sign here. This is the blogs widget right here, but it, just to find it, I'll show you. You'll just click the plus sign on an orange box, go down to where it says blog post and you'll add that in. And then you can't see them in the preview or in the, in the builder, but if you preview this page, it'll show that that uh, how to use plumbing tape blog that we wrote and any other blogs that you have. So you just wanna keep adding blogs that are helpful, right? If it's helpful, more people will come to your blog. They'll share it with other people. Other websites will wanna backlink into your blog and they'll send traffic your way because your blog is really helpful and maybe they didn't wanna write an entire blog about plumbing tape, but since you already wrote one, they'll link their blog or their website over to yours and send traffic your way. Google basically wants to see that you're an authority in your space. So if you have a lot of other websites that are backlinking into you and sending people through like a button or through clickable text on their website over to your website or your blogs on your website, that'll help Google see you as an authority and you'll rank higher naturally because of that. And you'll just get more traffic to your website. So that's the whole game is, is to make Google think you're an authority. Um, that's more of the, the off page SEO with getting backlinks into your site but we're talking more about on-page SEO, which are the actual words and text. If I click on this, you can see this blog that Search Atlas wrote for us um, and the, having the on-page text. One pro tip for blogging 
is if there's any um, keywords in here that we could highlight, let's say, um, let's try to find one. Specialty tapes, let's say this one. We could, we could link this word and we could make it clickable inside of Go High Level. And then we could send this to another blog that we wrote on our website and interlink our blogs to other blogs on our site and send people over to maybe a blog that talks just about specialty tapes. Um, and I don't even know what specialty tapes are in terms of plumbing, but um, just stuff like that. You wanna interlink your blogs and send um, people from your one blog that they're reading to other blogs. And that'll also help boost your SEO. Just make sure it's related and you're actually, you're not just like highlighting let's talk and sending them to a random blog that doesn't match, you know, the word that you're linking. So that's a, that's a pro tip in SEO. The free tool that we can use for SEO is called Uber Suggest. It's by neilpatel.com. You can sign up, it's free. You just have to use your email and uh, create a password. And then you can type in under this keyword ideas section, your keyword. So we could type in plumbing, uh, Boise, same kind of deal here. And then we could search it and it'll give us similar results to Search Atlas. Search Atlas is definitely more accurate in the results that you'll get. Um, but Uber suggest is also pretty good. It'll give us, you know, similar, the volume 1900, that was the same in search Atlas paid difficulty cost per click, um, cost per click in, in, uh, Uber suggest is showing a lot lower than it was with, with uh, search Atlas, but I would use search Atlas all day, every day over Uber suggest just cause it's going to be way more accurate. Anyway, it'll give us some ideas the same, but if you're, so if you're looking for a free tool, you can use Uber suggest and to get some free keyword ideas here, see how difficult they are. But like I said before, we're going for the ones that aren't super difficult. looks like a lot of these are pretty difficult. We'd want to go for some of these green ones, even though they don't get as many searches. If we rank for a lot of the green ones that get less searches, it'll add up. And if we're ranking for like 10 of these 50 keywords, or 50 search volume keywords, um, then it'll add up to like 500 searches per month. So over time, that's how you do SEO. You don't want to go for these keywords that everybody's competing for because they'll just be much harder to rank for. Inside of our website here, um, we can also mess with this SEO metadata. This is important. We have to do this on a page by page basis. So right now, let's go to like our homepage of our website and uh, we're gonna click where it says SEO metadata, which we can find right here. So I'm gonna click on this. Right here, you wanna make sure to title your page, um, you know, homepage, blog page, contact page, whatever it is, and your company name. Um, the description, you wanna include those some of those keywords that we mentioned that you're trying to rank for, your top keywords on this page that you're trying to rank for. Um, and then also just straight up include the keywords right here and separate them by commas. So we might put in like plumbing, sorry, I can't type plumbing, uh, Boise comma plumbing, um, tape, whatever the keywords are that you're trying to rank for on this page. Make sure these are actually words that are found on this page somewhere. Don't just like put random words or else Google, it will kind of throw Google off in it's uh, indexing. And then your page author, obviously the business owner's name here. Can't even type my own name. Um, an image that'll go with this page, that's important as well. And then uh, we can skip the custom meta tags, can canonical links. Um, but yeah, you'll just wanna make sure to add mainly these one, two, three, four, five top boxes here, and then update your SEO metadata. So now Google will be able to index what your pages are about. Um, when I say indexing Google, basically needs to analyze your pages and find you so that it can read your pages or index your pages and understand what you're trying to rank for, what your business is about. And the way that you can do that quickly and get Google to recognize you fast is by creating a Google Search Console account. Um, just go to search.google.com. It'll prompt you to go through some steps of creating a Google Search Console account. I also have a step-by-step -step video in my free SEO course you can access down below this video. And I talk about how to set that up there, but Google needs to be able to index your pages so that it can read what your site is about and actually just notice you. Cause if you don't have a Google search console account, it can take months and months and months for Google to ever realize that your site is even published and out there. 
So this is the quickest way to getting ranked quickly is by creating a Google Search Console and then using some of these tips that I mentioned using Search Atlas or Uber Suggest to start including some of these keywords, write helpful, good content on your blogs and on your site and other sites will naturally want to link into you, build, building your authority with Google and uh, helping you rank higher in, in your local areas. There's a ton of different ins and outs of SEO and I didn't have time to cover all of them in this video. So if you want to learn all the ins and outs of SEO, a step-by-step -step guide on how to ranking number one on Google, you can get my free local SEO course down below this video. It's free, so go check it out. Also, if you're wanting to jump into the Go High Level software, which is the software I used to build out this website in this video, you can get a 30-day free trial down below this video. Along with that, you can also access my free website SaaS masterclass where I show you how to sell websites to local businesses and also charge them a monthly subscription with the websites that you set up for them to make some monthly recurring income in your business. Also down below is a 14 day free trial to the Search Atlas SEO software. So make sure to check that out as well and start using that to boost your SEO rankings. Other than that, I appreciate y'all, love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.